what up everybody today we are installing the boomba shifter plate with the little bushings i'm down let's grab a quick snock so i'm gonna go ahead and grab some food first before i sit down because i had to skip lunch today and yeah so everything all the tools you're gonna need i'm gonna put it right here the most important one uh, most people don't have is a little punch socket 3 16th whatever i'm gonna list it right here that's what you're gonna need i'm gonna try to be detailed and show you exactly so you have a clear view but it's gonna be hard because i film everything on my own boomba shift plate with the boomba racing uh pushing First, we gotta remove the entirety of this trans mount support so we can go in here and take these pieces and access the shifter cable. And we'll be using this stand right here just as extra support. The shop is closed. We're also going to take this piece out right here so we can access everything a lot faster. Mm -hmm. Okay, since we've taken the transmission mounts and the supports all out, you don't need to take off the heat shield, just need to unclip it from here. Or maybe we do, we'll find out later. But now we're going to go ahead and target the cover right here and try to unclip. You can see it. The shifter cable. So we need three bolts here, 12 wrench. Got it. Remove this whole piece out. And after that one, we are gonna get this second piece right here. Safety pin right here. Ready? Mm -hmm. So after we remove the plate right here, you're gonna get the doing one. Right. It's not my car's not even circumcised, bro. <laughs> Hit the pin right here. You need a 3 16th and a hammer. You're gonna hammer it out so we can take out the plate. Motherfucker. Alright, guys. So I was able to get this cover off. You gotta go very deep in there and use a 12. I don't know how I did it, but I did. But now to wig, get the OEM shifter plate out, you really gotta wiggle it back and forth till it all comes out. This has been a long process. I'm hurting, I'm dead. Okay, now that we got the OEM plate out, we're gonna go ahead and take our shifter cable and we're taking these bushings out. And what are you gonna do? All right, essentially, you can grab pliers, kind of twist it. If you skate, you kind of know what this feels like. You can do it one hand. You can see it's already coming out, so see how easy it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and take both out. Replace the other ones from the Boomba shifting kit, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so now we have our plate right here. Gotta start our pins. You know, go ahead and put it together. We got a little hammer action here. So we gotta start it in. because this is gonna be a way harder job if we don't. Thank you. 
you know, I start the pin. Make sure it does not go inside the hole, otherwise you're not gonna be good. I'm gonna take the bushings, right, flat against, and then flat on top. Before we do that, though, we're gonna get some grease and grease that baby up. All right, so you gotta make sure this is not, the pin is not interfering or it's, it's not gonna go in. We tried putting some luby dooby on it and it slid on perfectly. So now we gotta find the hole. And I believe it's this angle right here. We're gonna put, oh my God, my nails are so fucking dirty. That was, <laughs> that's fine. All right, it should be this hole right here, this angle. We're gonna go ahead and punch it in. Now we're gonna grab our bushings from before that. We're gonna loop up the little metal tip right there. And then looby dooby some of this. There's some grease in between this right here. Now we're gonna get the safety pin. Ow, my fucking head. Uh, this one. Safety pin. Okay, make sure you get your washer behind that and then your safety pin. And then pretty much that's it. And you guys can see how short it is already. Yep. Yeah, it works as intended. Now we're gonna go in reverse and put all the pieces back together. And we're gonna leave the dust shield off cause, cause fuck it, man. I don't fucking, I hate that shit. We also gotta get this safety back in. So you gotta push it forward. So it goes in between this. Fuck. Might have fucked up. Ah, Might damn. have to take it all again. Ah, fuck it, that's fine. So after you get all sorted out, you're just gonna go in reverse of how you took everything out. So you're starting off with this piece right here. Sorry for the dirty nails, they've been working all day. Transmission support, make sure you get your heat shield in there and get it pretty tight. You can torque it if you want. I put it on just tight as fuck. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and try. I gotta run my wires through again. But uh, essentially, all according to plan. All right, we're all done. We're gonna take the car, try it out. Will, can you ship that? It's what it looks like. I should have done it before. Very notchy, you can even hear it. A lot more shorter. I'm gonna take uh, videos later of me driving and see how much of a difference, live reaction. All right. Time to feel it for myself. Everything is perfectly fine. I forgot to put my heat shield back on. So we're gonna go ahead and do that later, but uh, I'm about to downshift a second so you guys can see how short it is. Right, third, fourth, it's a lot smoother. Everything has more control to it. Uh, the bushings on the shifter cable helped it out a little bit. It feels very, very solid. I don't feel like I'm fighting against the car to shift my gears. Right, I put it, uh, this, this shift knob itself is 450 grams or milligrams. I don't remember what grams they are, but um, it's 450. And right now it's just shifting very, very well. It's a lot smoother than before, right? If you have a short stop, make sure you guys adjust it. Okay, what I mean by adjust it is that uh, during the process, you could possibly move it. So you just wanna make sure you adjust it again to your liking. Mine didn't move, so I didn't adjust it at all. So here you go, back into third, fourth, right? Pretty short, 30%. If you're not looking for um, a short shifter, I would say you gotta go for the shifter plate because um, you know, anybody with a short shifter, it's mm, 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 super notchy, it's nice, 
but you know if you're a daily driver like me you're not gonna race your car everywhere sometimes you just want to cruise so I think this is the perfect 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 compromise for that situation right it's not too much not too little right in the middle exactly where I want it and yeah so that's the that's it for today's video I'm gonna catch you guys peace out till next time